school. Can't talk, gotta study. Gotta study? What happened? Nothing happened, Mom. Nuh-uh, see, the last time you said nothing happened like that, we had to wait six months for Chelsea's eyebrows to grow back. <laughs> what happened? It's just that when you embarrassed Mr. Petricelli... He came for you, didn't he? Ooh! <laughs> I knew something was gonna happen. Okay, you know what? This stops now, all right? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a sting. You're gonna wear a wire, and I'm gonna swoop in, and I'm gonna catch him in the act. Or... We can do nothing. Uh, excuse me, have we met? <laughs> what do you mean, do nothing? I mean, I want to earn a good grade on my own. To show him he's wrong about me. He said that I'm going to fail his class. But I'm going to prove him wrong. <laughs> I think you mean we're going to prove him wrong. I meant me. I heard we. I said me. Yeah, we. Me. <laughs> we. <laughs> Done. I finally finished studying for my history test. No, you're not. Read these books. European history, African history, and the complete history of sports, just in case it throws you a curveball. <laughs> who was the de facto leader of the French Republic? Uh, uh Napoleon? Napoleon who? Uh, Bonaparte? Yeah. There you go, book. You gotta be thorough. Petrocelli takes no prisoners like that, Napoleon. What's what's the name? President of the United States. Come on, Mom. I'm tired. You know who doesn't get tired? Mr. Petrocelli and Abraham Lincoln. What does Lincoln have to do with this? He's the 16th President of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> who said I cannot tell a lie? George Washington. Oh, that's my baby. That's my baby. Sweet dreams of taking Petrocelli down. <laughs> Let me tell you something.